Do you want to make a great video game? One that's fun, engaging, and keeps people coming back for more? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you're in luck, because today, I'm going to show you the most common game development mistakes and how to fix them. So stay tuned. Today I'm going to be using Playdate Pulp. It's a free, browser-based game making tool that lets anyone make a game without having to install any additional software. So let's get started. The first common mistake is crowded levels. Now don't get me wrong, giving your players something to look at, like scenery for example, can be a good thing. But if there's too much of it and there's just too much in the way, it can get a bit overwhelming. This is a picture of a game made by Playdate using Playdate Pulp. As you can see here, it has one main focal point. Giving the player one thing to focus on at a time lets the person playing the game really feel in control by letting them know exactly where they need to go and exactly what they need to get done. This would be great for a mission or a quest because there's nothing else in the way to confuse the player. Listen, I get it. Your main character may be super awesome and you wrote the best origin story ever. You can't wait to share it with everyone who plays your game. But there are a few things that I think you should be aware of so that you can say what you want about your game and still make your game fun and enjoyable. The main thing, and I cannot stress this enough, is avoid walls of text. People don't want to sit and have to spam A a bunch of times, practically getting a full finger workout before they can even start your game. I'd recommend shortening the story at the beginning and maybe saving some for in the middle so that it can flow throughout your game. The last and most important tip by far that I could give you is replayability. It's a game that you can just keep coming back to, keep playing it over and over without getting bored. The whole idea behind the concept of replayability is actually pretty simple. It's mixing things up every couple of levels so that it's different for the player every single time. It's a brand new experience for them anytime they decide to hop on your game. And if you incorporate a fresh new take into your game every once in a while, I guarantee you, you will start to see more people picking back up your game and saying, hey, what's new? If you're new, make sure to subscribe because I would hate for you to miss out on any new videos. My name is Gavin. This is Playdate Central. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.